Hello folks, today we're going to discuss this painting and I'm going to show you how I painted it from start to finish. The title of this piece is Moment of Reflection and it's by me, your friendly neighborhood artist, Michael Freyrich. So here's the painting in its frame, but let's take it out of its frame so we can see it better. In fact, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Here's how the painting looked on my initial sitting where you can see I just broadly blocked in the architecture and I made some color notes just to establish the drawing. And already at this early stage, you might notice that I'm using techniques from Impressionism. The technique in particular that I'm speaking about is called broken color. So if you look at the sky or the trees or the field of grass, you won't notice one broadly painted area of color. You will see countless brush strokes that all come together to form what it is that I'm painting. And when your eye picks it up, it goes into your brain and tells your brain, that's a sky, these are trees, that's the field of grasses. These are techniques that come from the French Impressionists like Monet and Pissarro, and were picked up by the great American Impressionists, Charles Hassam and Willard Metcalf and the group of 10 and so many more. And these were the great American artists who highly influenced me. In fact, I quote their techniques in this painting and I even quote some of their passages. For example, the background here is a tribute to one of my favorite artists, Willard Metcalf. So as we near completion of this painting, you'll see a color shift. There it is. Because toward the end of this painting, I used a professional camera, which picks up colors better. And right here in the final finished image, you will also see the results of another technique I use called glazing, in which transparent pigments are placed over all of the previous parts of the painting and gives it this luminosity, especially in the windows and the moon and the reflection, all of that which you see here. So let's take a final look at this painting in its frame. And this is how you will see the painting hanging if you go over to Tilting at Windmills Gallery to see it. If you have any other questions while you're at the gallery, just ask Terry because she has all the answers. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until I see you again next time, I'm Michael Freyrich.